Welcome to Go Bears Diecast Workshop, episode 59. Remember, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. This happens to be a special bill for the Red Line Day, which is today. And the car that I chose to rebuild is the Mighty Maverick. As you can see, this one is in terrible shape. It does not have any wheels. It doesn't have axle. The plastic fin is missing. I'm not even sure what's going on with the hood. And it needs a lot of help. Definitely going to do a color change on it. But let's go ahead and get it taken apart. And here's what we have. There is the casting with the opening hood. Looks like there may be some toning. Again, not sure what's going on with the hood itself. The glass appears to be in pretty good shape. Now the wing is missing, so I'm going to just order a whole new setup for that. And the base is in pretty good shape. So here is my attempt at zinc plating. It is my concoction with uh, vinegar and Epsom salt and of course a piece of zinc in the back uh, as the anode and the cathode being the casting itself. So leave it in there until you see that you are actually getting the zinc to adhere to the casting. And I have, of course, a little aquarium pump that is keeping everything nice and kosher inside. But here it is out of the zinc plate. And it's got a nice gray color on it, which is what we were looking for. Now I'm going to take some steel wool and go over the car in its entirety. Not uh, being very... Uh, abrasive with it but just wanting to knock off the gray and see what we have underneath and there you can see we don't see any toning I was fortunate enough that this one didn't actually have to be sanded a lot so all of my body lines and everything is there but this is the mighty maverick which was Produced back in 1970 based on the 1969 Ford Maverick. Originally it was called the Mad Maverick, but the name had to be changed due to Johnny Lightning already having one, hence the Mighty Maverick. Released in both the US and Hong Kong versions, both having the big plastic fin on the back. And the white stripe and of course it had a full black grill on and to include the headlights on the US version where the Hong Kong version the headlights were not black and uh, the white strip stripe was actually um, a little thinner so here it is after I've gotten finished with the steel wool it's looking pretty good uh, we will begin to start the polishing. Uh, you can get away with putting a base coat from red line on it, but I want to polish this one. I think uh, being that it's for red line day, I want to bring it back to its former glory. No uh, shortcuts. So I'm going to take my Dremel tool and some polishing compound oh there all right i need to hold the hood down let me grab that okay i got it okay wait a minute i think i got it okay so i'm going to go ahead and go over the entire car with the polishing compound let the tool do the work make sure that you have it on a lower speed there's no need to uh, try to burn the polish into the metal Take your time and continue this process until you're satisfied. 
Now, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it turned out very well. Especially with the toning that was on that hood. I think it came out excellent. So here we are in the spray booth. And you can just see that mirror shine is just reflecting off and glistening. And I'm just feeling like this is going to be a great, great restoration. So I'm looking at it as it's going on. It's going on nice, even. Remember, don't get in a rush. Uh, Spectraflame paint can be a little bit touchy to spray, especially if you don't watch out where it can pull up on you in the crevices. Take your time. Follow the directions. Look at some other hobbyists if you need further instructions. There's a lot of hobbyists out there that do a fantastic job with Spectraflame. Uh, this is from the Redline shop. And it is going on absolutely beautiful. The key to this is taking the time and waiting in between coats before you spray the next coat on. Allowing it to actually be able to grab on to the first coat that you put on and build your way up to the color that you want. The more you spray on, the darker it does get. So just stop when you think you've got the desired color of Spectre Flame on the casting. Now you can see that it is going on very even. I think I'm going to stop right there. So next let's go on to the base. I've already had it in the 50-50 mixture of Lime Away. I'm now applying my flits. And I like to dab it on with my finger and then work it in a little bit prior to putting my Dremel on with the buffing wheel. Now again, same, same technique. Make sure that you don't have your Dremel tool on a very high speed. There's no need. I'm going to go ahead and cut it back. And we're going to start polishing this base up. Again, just go over the entire base. And of course, don't forget to wipe it back with a wipe it down with a microcloth after you finish. And then you can put some uh, warm soapy water to get any residual polish that may be caught in the crevices and clean it up. Now this is what we started out with. This thing was extremely play worn. No wheels, no tires. I guess it should have been on blocks. Terrible looking hood but as you can see it has been transformed brought back to life i hope you guys enjoy it this is, was a wonderful restoration and a tribute to red line day i think it came out wonderful again thank you to everyone that have been watching my channel have been supportive all of my new subscribers, 
all of those that have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you taking the time because there's a lot of hobbyists out there that you can choose to watch. And my channel is growing and it could not grow without you guys. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below please. I read each and every comment and I respond to each and every comment. Hopefully uh, someone has learned something from this or it's brought back a childhood memory or inspired you to get into the hobby. It's a wonderful community out there. Again, thank you. Have a great week. And I should see you back with something this coming weekend. This is Gobert at Gobert's Diecast Workshop. Check me out on Instagram as well. I just started up. Thank you.